Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is my channel. So happy Monday to you guys. It is literally Monday morning while I'm filming this. It's actually 7.01 a.m. and I wanted to do the talky part of my video so I can include my weigh-ins for you guys. I didn't record anything, any talking part. I recorded my food from the whole weekend, but I didn't include any kind of a talking part of my video for the weekend. Saturday I was frustrated and mad, and Sunday, I yesterday I just wasn't feeling well, so I decided I would just get up early this morning and do it this morning so I could get my video uploaded at a normal time for me. Um, the weekend proved frustrating for me again. If you remember last weekend, I was stalled all weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I stayed the exact same weight. This weekend, my body decided to do me one better, and, well, let's just insert. Just take a look at Saturday. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and forty two point zero pounds. So Saturday morning when I woke up I was five forty two point zero, which is a one point two pound gain from Friday. I knew when I woke up Saturday morning before I even got out of bed, before I even stepped on the scale, I knew I was going to be up because my fingers were swollen. I had to literally pry the ring off of my finger. Here's a picture of my finger after I got the ring off of my finger Saturday morning. So that's what my finger looked like after I pried the ring off of my finger. I still, I had it on Sunday, yesterday, and it was still very tight. I haven't attempted to put it on again this morning because I know it's going to be tight because I can tell my fingers are swollen. I think probably all you ladies out there can understand when you're bloated from your period, you can tell when your fingers are swollen because when your rings, and you can just feel it in your fingers without a ring on. So I decided to look at my period tracker and lo and behold, my period is right around the corner, literally three days away. So, it was frustrating Saturday. And even though I know why I went up in weight, I know it's water retention, I know I'm bloated, um, it's still frustrating. And this is where when people say that I shouldn't weigh daily, this is where they're correct because it's very frustrating and makes me want to say forget it um i'm done with this i it, it's just very frustrating um but i didn't i stayed on track as you'll see after this part after this segment my food for the weekend was clean i was good i didn't go off track like i usually would have i'm committed to staying on this and Seeing this out, I've, I'm having good success and I'm not going to let my period derail me. Um, so Sunday morning when I woke up, this is my way in. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and forty point four pounds. So Sunday I was 540.4, point four, which is one point six pounds down from Saturday and point four pounds down from Friday. So I have a feeling for the next couple of days I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. I had an idea to just not weigh for a few days. Um, I'm kind of afraid not to weigh 
because Wayne keeps me accountable, but then in a way I am uh, kind of afraid to weigh because if it keeps bouncing back and forth, it's going to be very frustrating for me, um, especially knowing that I'm on track. When I, if I have a binge or when I have a binge and, or when I eat something I shouldn't and I gain, I understand it and it's not frustrating because I know why it happens. It makes sense. But when this happens and I've done nothing wrong, I've been on track, I've been accountable, I've been eating cleanly, it's frustrating and it makes it hard to keep on track. But I'm going to, I'm going to keep pushing. Um, I'm going to keep weighing, um, I think, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yesterday I felt horrible. I know my period is right around the corner because I was extremely tired yesterday, Sunday, and I slept a long time on Sunday. Usually I don't sleep a lot, especially after I wake up, I usually don't go back to bed. But I went back to bed and I slept until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And when that happens, that's another sign that my period is right around the corner because I get sleepy. Um, then yesterday afternoon-ish, towards evening, the cramps arrived, the backache arrived, the leg hurt, my legs hurting arrived. So, and right now I'm due to take my Advil and I'm not feeling that great. So, I don't know what to do about weighing. I want to stay accountable. I'm going to upload my videos. I want to keep uploading my videos through this time because I know this is temporary and it's not going to last forever, but I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to keep uploading my videos. I'm going to keep weighing in every day. Even if it goes up and down, I'm still going to weigh in. Okay, that's my decision. I'm going to. Um, I just, I'm just expecting it to go up and down to fluctuate for the next couple of days until this is over with. So this week is probably not going to be the greatest for weigh-ins, um, but I'm going to keep on track and keep pushing forward and what happens happens and it'll eventually get it straighten itself out and I'll eventually be on the right path again. I just have to hang with it and be positive until then. So that's it. It's early and now it's 7.09 a.m and I need to get ready for the day. I have an appointment later. Um, that's about it. I have some stuff I need to do around here, some cleaning. I need to feed the cat as he's watching me, a reminder that I need to feed the cats, and I need to get on with my day. So I'm going to insert the clips of what I ate during the weekend. I had some really good stuff, including a fathead pizza I made for the first time. It was okay. I don't think that I'm going to make it very often. If I'm going to make a pizza, I think I'm going to stick to my cauliflower crust pizza because I like that better than the fathead pizza dough. Um, and I made egg muffins that are amazing that you'll want to look, well I'm sure everybody knows how to make an egg muffin. but the egg muffins turned out amazing and I was able to get some more vegetables in because I put spinach in them. So stay tuned for what I ate and then I will see you guys back for Tuesday. Bye everyone. I'm getting ready to make my first actual meal. As you saw, I had a premier protein shake this morning for, I guess you would call it, a, I don't know if you call it a meal, I guess it's a replacement meal, but that's what I had first. So I'm getting ready to make bacon, egg, and cheese muffins in the oven, and I'm just going to put them in these muffin tins. I'm going to only make a third of the recipe since it's only me eating, and I will show you what I'm putting in the muffins. They're, they're called the muffins, but there's like no flour or anything like that. 
So first we're gonna crack two eggs and add to our bowl. I lied, that's three eggs, not two. I promise I know what I'm doing. Even though it doesn't seem like it, I do. Next, I'm gonna add three slices of pre-cooked bacon that I just chopped up in little pieces. A quarter of a cup of frozen spinach that I thawed and I wrung the liquid out of. One eighth of a cup of pepper and onion blend and one quarter of a cup of the shredded mozzarella cheddar blend. I'm also gonna add a couple turns of the pink Himalayan salt. as well as some black pepper. Now I'm just going to mix this all up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and use our muffin tin. I'm a little nervous about this because I don't know if this is non-stick or not, and I don't have any muffin liners, so I'm going to go ahead and spray this with olive oil just to be safe. I'm going to spray three of the cups, and I'm going to spray it down pretty good because I don't want anything to stick. Now I'm just going to go ahead and fill my muffin tins. About a quarter of a cup fits in each muffin tin. Now we're going to go ahead and put this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then we'll be back when it's done. Okay, we're back and they're done. The good news is I did not burn them. The bad news is they seem to have stuck pretty bad to this muffin tin. So, I am going to try my best to unstick them without ruining them. This could prove to be the best part of this video. I don't know. So let's try to unstick them. Maybe it wouldn't be as bad as I thought. Maybe. Oh, maybe it won't. Okay, okay little muffins, okay. Okay, I'm a little shocked and happy right now. That one seemed to come out pretty well. I did, um, about five minutes into them baking, I had to put a cookie sheet under it because they were starting to drip onto the bottom of my oven. So, beware of that if you make these. 
I know my hand's in the way, but like I've, I've mentioned this before, I'm left-handed. So it's hard for me to use my other hand, and this is the angle that I set my camera up at. Um, so. Alright, let's see how they look. Those look pretty darn good. I am very impressed with myself. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on the top of them. And that's it. And there is my first meal of the day. I'll leave the calorie count as well as the carb count after this clip. Delicious. See you back for meal number two. All right, it's 7 p.m. on Saturday evening and I'm going to try my hand at a fathead pizza. I've never made it before. This will be my first attempt. So I'm going to take two tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm only going to eat half of this dough and I'm going to save the other half for another time. Um, they said you can keep it in your fridge for up to, I think, somebody said three months, I think, or a month or I don't know. It certainly won't last three months, I'll tell you that. We all know that. But, so, okay. I have my two tablespoons of cream cheese. And then I'm going to add my cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. Alright, so the directions say that you put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and stir it. And then keep putting it in there until it's just doughy and stringy, not melted or greasy. So let's attempt to do this. Alright, I hit that stage that it's just nice and stringy now. I'm going to add my one egg that's been beaten. Next I'm going to add three-fourths of a cup of almond flour. And then it said add some garlic powder. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to put some in there. I'm also going to add some onion powder. And then we're going to mix this all up. All right, I have it mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, the sun's in the way. I'm going to go ahead and put it on some parchment paper and flatten it out. And I'll be back. Okay, so there we go. I have my fat head dough. Oh, the light, the lighting is horrible right now. I'm sorry about that. But hopefully you can see, let's see. Hopefully you can see it kind of good. So what I did was I put the fat head dough on a piece of parchment paper. And then I took this piece of parchment paper and I put it on top and I kind of rolled it out. I don't have a rolling pin so I used my hands. Um, if you've never made this before, I know probably most of you have, but if you haven't, there's not going to be a possible way that you can roll this out or touch this with your hands without it sticking to your hands. So it's really important that you use parchment paper and the direction said not to use wax paper because it will stick to the wax paper. So what I did was I rolled the whole thing out and then I just cut it in half. And then the other half is here in the bowl. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in my fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and, I was going to say decorate, <laughs> top my half of my pizza because this is what I'll be eating. 
and then we can oh no actually we're not going to top it yet you put it in the oven for five minutes then you flip it and then you put it in for another five minutes then you top it and then put it in for another five so we'll put it in the oven and then i'll be back in 10 minutes all right i just got my fathead pizza dough out of the oven it looks really good and i'm ready to put my toppings on and then stick it back in the oven it looks really good it actually turned out better than i thought it would i did a good job for my first time okay so what i'm going to use for the toppings is the hunts no sugar added pasta sauce because this is all i have this is four grams of carbs for a half a cup so i'm only going to use a quarter of a cup And I might not even need the full quarter of a cup either. Um, I'll go ahead and put the rest on. There's just a little bit left in there. And I'm going to add about an eighth of a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. I don't want to add too much more cheese because it already has tons of cheese in it. So my little eyeball tells me that's about an eighth of a cup. And then I'm going to use a serving of pepperoni. Oops, sorry about the lighting. Uh, and a serving is 15 slices. So... This lighting is really bad. I already measured out my 15 slices. And we'll just go ahead and decorate it. Extra pepperoni. There we go. All right, I'm gonna stick my pizza back in the oven for about five minutes, just so the cheese on the top melts, the crust can finish off, and the pepperoni gets nice and crispy, and then I'll be back with you to show you my finished product. And voila, we have a fat head pepperoni pizza. It looks really good. I cannot wait to try it. So this is my dinner. And that is the last thing I'll be eating today. I will let you know tomorrow. And the first thing tomorrow morning, I will let you know how this pizza was and if it tasted good and if I plan to make it again. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for Sunday. Welcome to Sunday. These are my meals for Sunday. I officially made it an 18 hour fast today. I was done fasting at 2.30. It's 2.37 now. And this is my first meal of the day. I had 32 ounces of water between the time that I woke up. And now, a little tongue tied there. And then I'm having another 32 ounces of water now. And then I'm having a repeat of yesterday's breakfast, breakfast lunch, because it was so good. The egg muffins, except I left out the peppers and onions. So it's just spinach, bacon, eggs, and cheese. And then I have some horseradish mustard on the side to dip it in. And then I have a two good peach yogurt with four tablespoons of the Diabetic Kitchen Cinnamon Pecan Granola. So that's my first meal, and I will be back for my next meal. 8.09 p.m. on Sunday, and this is my second meal of the day, my final meal. I'm having the zucchini taco boats. So what I did was I 
brown my ground beef first. Then while it was browning, I split my two zucchinis in half. I scooped out the middle and put, the, put some olive oil on them and put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. And then when the ground beef was browned, I just put some ground beef that's about three ounces of ground beef on top, stuck it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. And then when I pulled it out, I put two tablespoons of the expertly paired Kraft shredded cheese. It's a blend of mozzarella and cheddar. And then I divided one tablespoon of salsa between the two zucchini boats. And then I have a, two tablespoons actually of sour cream on the side. So that is my dinner along with a can of Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper. It looks delicious, smells delicious, so that's what I'm eating for my last meal on Sunday. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the Fathead Pizza. It was good, but I think if I'm going to have pizza, I think I would prefer the cauliflower crust pizza myself, the one I made way, way back. Um, but it was good. It wasn't bad. And I still have the other half in my fridge that I'll make probably sometime this week I'll have it, so... There you go. That's my food for Sunday, and that's the end of the video for Sunday. I'll see you guys back on Monday.